Hi there, welcome to Future Looks. Uh, we're going to take a look at two of Intel's boards that recently launched with the uh, Sandy Bridge uh, LGA1155 socket processors. Uh, this board is specifically designed to access the graphics that are within Sandy Bridge herself. Uh, to access the graphics you have DVI ports here in the back, HDMI. Uh, some of the other boards are going to have uh, different display ports out as well. Uh, it just depends on the model, specific model itself. Uh, now integrated into to access uh, to complement the graphics, they have uh, 7.1 channel Realtek HD audio. You have an optical out. Uh, this all board also supports the newest features, USB 3.0 and SATA 6 uh, or SATA 3. I'm sorry. And the uh, of course integrated LAN is actually Intel. Pro, which is a uh, kind of their own standard. And as you can see here, we have uh, your piece, your SATA, SATA 2, SATA 3. Uh, also, an eSATA port here. Here you have your PCI Express Full Speed 16. Uh, that's a 2.0. A single PCI, uh, helpful for those that want to add a different uh, audio card, or perhaps the PCI Gen 1 if you're. Uh, going to stick with the latest format. Uh, overall, the board is tuned for the best media experience, accessing the graphics, uh, good quality uh, audio, and uh, Intel tends to do that quite nicely. Uh, we've posted a review recently that had uh, the audio quality as being good, but almost, uh, it was actually almost very good. There was some actually quite high uh, testing done with, this, with the board. So that's the Intel right here, Intel DH67 uh, Bear Lake BL uh, Micro ATX motherboard. Next up is the their extreme from their Extreme series. This is the DP55 BG or Barrage uh, P67 motherboard. This one is the one that you're going to want if you're going to be overclocking, uh, getting a little crazy with your design or whatnot. Uh, your your system, this is the board you're going to want. Uh, key features on this one, uh, standard uh, Intel Blue spreads over the VRM, and a very cool little skull here that was uh, featured in the last couple generation boards. That The skull lights up blue and the eyes turn red while the system is operating. Very cool little thing to see inside your case when you're uh, gaming. Now because this isn't the Micro ATX uh, and it's not a media series, there are no uh, video out ports, and that's uh, that. If you want that, that's on the media series. This board is mainly meant for the desktop user who's going to add his or her own uh, Crossfire graphics or single NVIDIA SLI. Uh, again, we've got Intel LAN Pro here, Gigabit LAN, two USB Blue headers. Now on this board, on the back here, this is uh, Intel's Recovery BIOS switch here. You press that in, take the jumper off, and you can recover the BIOS uh, from the board's uh, integrated uh, BIOS chip. It'll help you get back up and running when you're having issues. Uh, the board also has power or power and reset switch, for uh, which is useful for users that have acrylic cases or uh, non-standard uh, cases that don't have the power buttons. There's your option and a nice little LED readout. The LED readout is just like many of the others. You get uh, a uh, digital code there that lets you know what process is going on. If you see it hang, well then that's, you can refer to your BIOS manual to figure out what component might be having an issue. Uh, so, also uh, your SATA and SATA 3, SATA 2 here and SATA 3 here. Uh, this is uh, 3 gigabits per second. This is uh, uh, up to 6 gigabit per second. So again, uh, overall uh, meant for the new mainstream. And then of course at the bottom here we actually have uh, Intel integrated some uh, LEDs that let you know when it's starting up, your USB, when your video initializes, when your CPU initializes. So uh, another little handy feature if you're diagnosing an issue. We'd like to make one note at this time about these uh, particular boards, the, the Barrage or the Bear Lake media board boards. Uh, a lot of these are retail boards. They are in the retail segment. These are not reference boards. What you see here is the finished product uh, intended for the power user here. 
who's a board gamer, the do-it-yourselfer who's gonna looking for the more extreme system, um, and then your media series for the the more astute who needs uh, a good HTPC case or whatnot. Again, full retail boards, uh, though featuring uh, everything you're gonna get with the retail board. So. Again, not reference, above reference, but that's Intel.